So if you've chosen radiation treatment for your form of treatment, it's important to know what this can do. The goal obviously is to hit this prostate and, and deliver energy to the prostate and any possible prostate cancer and any prostate cancer cells. Now there can be scatter of radiation and this is the downside to radiation is that even though radiation is, is more precise now than it was 10, 20 years ago, there still can be some scatter of radiation to healthy tissue. And so the bladder can be affected, the rectum can be affected, and even this neurovascular bundle that is important in preserving erectile function can also be affected by scatter of radiation. Some of this is, is mitigated by what's called placement of a hydrogel spacer. In your urologist's office, a hydrogel spacer can be placed to push this rectum away. And what that does is decrease your risk of rectal complication with treatment for, uh, with regards to radiation. There still is some scatter of radiation to the bladder and possibly to this urethra, which can cause scar tissue. Um, and then erectile function. There's similar erectile dysfunction rates when you compare radiation and hormone treatment with surgery. And so again, that, be, that becomes one of the most difficult decisions to make. Do I take it out? Do I radiate this prostate, leave the prostate in and radiate it, deliver energy to it to kill this cancer cell? So many good and bad with all forms of therapy. This is radiation, a great treatment for prostate cancer. And yes, if I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, this is something that I personally would consider along with every other treatment option for treatment of prostate cancer.